Bobby. Yeah, I gave a report when I was at urgent care. And I gave the officer Michael's gym ID. It was right next to the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Slight concussion, but he'll be okay. Anyway, it's been a long day. Check in with you tomorrow. Okay, bye. killed you. What? Maybe I would have been a little hurt. A lot of hurt. That's really high. You want to know what really hurts? She said it was Bethany who saved me. Ugh. That still does not make up what she did to you. Yeah. You know what? Forget Bobby. You need to let it go. Well, you're still kicking his butt every time he challenges you on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because it's so fun. Is that bad? No, it's awesome. In addition to all the Bobby drama, you had your dad to deal with this year. Been rough for you. Yeah. Maybe I need something new. Well, you could start dating again. Dating? I was thinking about training for the 10K or something. <gasps> Come on, you know me, how I drive guys away. Well, maybe if you didn't outclimb them and outrun them, outwork them. Are you saying I should lose to guys more often? Yes, the cute ones. You can't beat everybody at everything. But you beat me in that spelling bee that one time. Oh, in junior high? And I'm pretty sure you still don't know how to spell handkerchief. Who puts a D in handkerchief? <laughs> Do you see what I have to put up with? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. Yeah, so then Tolan's wife goes overboard. Like she faked her own death? Yeah. <gasps> See, this is why I'm never getting married. Hey, British? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And that one did. Let's go. Stop it. Back on, okay. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now get in here and let's party. You guys, you know it's not my birthday until tomorrow. Well, that's my answer. All right. Oh, thanks, Ray. Thank you. Happy birthday. I was going to give you the day off, but instead I got you an expensive gift. You can use it on your next day off. Ooh, expensive gift. Who needs a day off? You do need rock climbing shoes, right? I don't. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> yes, I do. I know you. Come on. <laughs> that is really thoughtful of you. <laughs> oh, boss man's a giver. Yeah. <laughs> is he? I mean, I'm still waiting on that raise. Okay, I think I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, babe, did you ever call that nice guy Jerry I met at the market? Mom, what? You never know. You can't push these things. No, no, I try. Also, I don't really think Lisa's looking for a nice guy. What? More into the bad boy type. You know, Lisa, you should try uh, looking online for a guy. That's where I met Ray. True. Now they're married. They have two beautiful kids. Well, I have to admit, I am jealous. <clears throat> too nice. You do have to be careful with online dating, though. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, but Abby, you're always so cautious. There are lots of nice guys online. <laughs> well, that definitely would have been a better place for you to find your boyfriend, don't you think? Abby, you're too much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little mad about what she did to you. I thought it was damn funny. <laughs> and true. Thank you. That's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't mean to discourage online dating. Well, that's good, because I just accepted a free trial on this site. Yes! See, get some hot guys to take you out for dinner, and it'll be fun. Or there's always Jerry from the market. Hey, okay, <laughs> can we stop talking about guys now? Oh, it's not that bad. Going guy. A winning smile to compliment my six pack abs. Yeah, easy going is easy to lose. Wow. Mr. Wonderful. First name Michael, age 31, wants kids, definitely. Right. <laughs> Completely perfect. Mr. Wonderful. Hey, Mom. I was just thinking about you. Hi, babe. Did you enjoy your party? It was great. I cannot believe you guys kept that secret. I know. As much as we all talk, I'm surprised no one spilled the beans. I know. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Hey. Are you okay with everything? I'm worried about you. Yeah, I'm okay. I worry about you, too. Next week, it's gonna be a year. It's so hard. Until they find the driver, you know? It's just a senseless death. It's just still such a nightmare for me. I know. Me, too. <laughs> it's empty without Dad. You know what, though? I feel like getting out tonight was really good for me. I'm going to try to do it more often. I promise. I mean, how else am I going to find you a man? That's <laughs> seriously the only thing you care about. <laughs> Is that so bad? Well, what if I told you I met someone? What? Where? When? Tell me everything. Let's just say he's Mr. Wonderful, and I'll send you a picture tomorrow. I can't wait. Well, uh, it's getting late, Mom. I'm going to get to bed. I know. Me too. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Good night. Good night. I'll be right back. I just have to drop these off, but I can't wait to hear about them. Wait, what? Who is that? Who is it? Want to see? 
It's not what you think. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. Check him out. I'm gonna post it in the group chat right now. Why? He is cute. Mr. Wonderful, that, that, that's what I mean. You like him? Uh, yeah, what's not to like? <laughs> He's very hot. <laughs> Admin mode, Lisa. Access computer, yes. So, spell? Uh, he's just a guy from online. How long have you been seeing him? I'm not, it's just for mom. I'm in, Lisa. <laughs> Shouldn't leave apps open. Found my Mr. Wonderful. Oh, I think we can find a better picture. Image, replace Mr. Wonderful. Are in a relationship. So where'd you meet this stud? Oh, calm down, ladies. He's just some random guy from an online dating site. So you have not gone out with him? No. I just photoshopped a couple pictures of us and I'm gonna send them to my mom so she doesn't worry about my love life. You should date him. He's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's see his profile. Guys, I have work to do. Okay, but you two did look pretty good together. That's what I thought. Ah, I knew it! You do like him! Stop it! You're so relentless! <laughs> you love him. People have just detected a posting image from Lisa Clark. New image. I found my Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Can we talk? Oh, I have a meeting. I shouldn't have been there last night. Bethany, look, we need to bury the hatchet. We work together. I am so sorry for being the other woman between you and Bobby. <laughs> Look, I, I, I wish you luck with Bobby. You know he had cheated before you, right? Yeah, yeah, he did tell me that. I need to move on. It's for the best. Well, at least it's cute. In a relationship. How about work? Stream tours and excursions. You're a good person. I hope. One day I can make up for it. Well, just keep your eye on him. Don't worry about me. <laughs> well, thank you. Don't thank me yet. You're gonna have your hands full. I've been through tougher than Bobby. <laughs> How about places? Conquered a new climb. Someone's in shape. Boulder Dash. Um, anyway, look, I still feel terrible. So if there's anything I can do, let me know. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We work things together and... Yeah. Also, I just saw that you got a new guy. Seems pretty cool. Where'd you meet him? <laughs> There's no new guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? I just saw it posted on your people page. What? No, I didn't post anything. Uh, it's there. Take a look. Oh, my God. Front and center. I didn't post that. I don't know how that got up there. You seem to be quite the hot item. Hot item, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Okay, well, I mean, I'm happy for you, Lisa. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Yeah. Let's go to the meeting. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Running at the lake. That's my favorite place to run. Mom posted it. Yeah, you think, huh? But it came from my account, so I don't know. Maybe I did it on an accident or I got hacked. Woohoo, that is so weird. You definitely need to change your password. Yeah. I'm gonna take it down and change my password tonight. <laughs> anyway, hope you're ready. <laughs> Wait, that's not fair. Ugh.
79 likes. Not bad, Mr. Wonderful. Too bad we're breaking up. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you're here. <laughs> so you saw the picture? Yeah. How? How oh, the social media app has facial recognition. I wanted me to tag myself. With your new girlfriend. <laughs> Apparently so. Seems like my love life's finally picking up. And it seems that I found Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful, my <laughs> online identity. So that's how this all started. So how did you find me here? Hey, Lisa. Hey. Hey. Is this guy bothering you? No. He's fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. Bodyguard? <laughs> Max. Oh. Sorry. So, can I buy you a juice or a tea or something to make up for my cyber stalking? <laughs> sure. <Yeah>. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hope you like chamomile. It's my favorite. Oh, mine too. Oh. <laughs> so, how did you find me here? Oh, you mean the internet? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't too hard after I found out your real name to find your workplace and, well, your gym. <laughs> wow, it is crazy how there's no anonymity anymore, huh? I know, right? <laughs> oh, I'm Michael. Michael Patterson. Lisa, as you know. <laughs> Lisa Clark. <laughs> so, Lisa, you care to tell me how I became a celebrity to your people look page? Uh, I'm so sorry about that. I've taken it down, just so you know. Sort of a long and embarrassing story. Well, I came down here to hear a very long, embarrassing story. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay, well, not to throw my mom under the bus, but... She's been so full of anxiety recently about my personal life that I decided to tell her that I have a boyfriend so she'll stop worrying about me. Oh, it's nice that you care about your mom so much. Yeah. And um, I saw your picture on that dating site and I thought you were a good candidate for a fake boyfriend. <laughs> and a little bit of Photoshop later and I had a picture to send to my mom of her happy daughter and her new beau. Oh, sounds like you did a good deed. <laughs> And the only problem is it went public on Beep Look, and I'm still not really sure how that happened. Well, my mom has posted some unapproved items as well. I mean, <laughs> parents forever embarrassing us, right? <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to come down here and put you on the spot like this. I just, uh, you know, just wanted to make sure that I wasn't being stalked or used. <laughs> but you are a very nice and a very beautiful woman. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, Michael, I, um, I actually have to get going. Oh, yeah, uh, me too. It's nice to meet you. Let's see, um, why don't we get together and do something this weekend? Um, you know, I'm not really looking for something right now. Uh, okay, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but, I mean, you gotta admit there's, there's something here. Yeah, maybe there is. <laughs> okay, great. So, I mean, we can just hang out or, you know, do whatever you want. It's your call. Okay. Mr. Wonderful, you're on. Great. A gift basket? Well, what does the card say? Wait, so when he found out he wasn't pissed or anything? No. He was totally cool with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then he asked me out. Oh, and now I have heard it all. <laughs> I know it's weird, right? I mean, it's insanely romantic. Weird. But look, Lisa, we still don't know this guy. You might want to check him out just to be safe. Abby, he's a total gentleman. Plus, he's totally charming. And he's handsome as hell. <laughs> okay, but still, look, Bobby's a cop. He owes you one. Why don't you have him check him out? Oh, yeah, he already did. What? Yeah. 
who's at the gym. <laughs> Gave yeah. Michael a once over. Ugh, typical. Why don't you just have him run a background check? Yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, it's the least he could do after what happened with Bethany. Yeah, but every time I try to talk to Bobby, he gets really weird. Because he wants to get back together with you. Don't tell Bethany that. Eh, she deserves it. Look, she broke the code. You never go after a friend's man. It's pretty simple. Yeah, but it's just as much on Bobby. Plus, I'm trying to move past all this. I think this is a good place to start. It's mm, probably a good idea. By the way, I told Michael I'd see him this weekend. I was thinking of taking him running. Oh, boy. Are you sure that's a good idea? Look, you're going to be another man at another sport? And who goes running on a first date? A first date? Jealous. Oh, my God. There is no secrets around here. That's why this is such a great place to work. <laughs> right. Sorry. Thanks. So this is one of my favorite places to run. Okay, it's gorgeous up here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pick it up a little bit. First one to the bridge. Don't be mad when I win, though. We'll see about that. <laughs> I was called Luber to look for you. <laughs> wow. Are you okay? That doesn't happen often. What? You getting obliterated in a race? Obliterated? <laughs> I was a couple seconds behind you. Oh, one minute and 19 seconds, but not that anyone's counting. <laughs> right, not that anyone's counting. <laughs> wow. Good for you. You know, you almost seem happy that you lost. You know, to be perfectly honest, I am. Oh, well, you're a good sport. <laughs> I'll take that compliment. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Race your back. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Lise, how was your date? So, I went running with him today. And did you scare him away with your world-class speed? <laughs> I tried, but he beat me by a lot. Oh, that's, that's different for you. Yeah, I kind of liked it. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I know. I even told him I'd meet him for a drink tonight. Okay, Lisa, we don't know this guy. Remember, we're going to go slow. Yeah, I know, I hear ya. So my place in the morning, right? Yep, my turn to drive. Have fun tonight, okay? Thanks, Abs. <laughs> actually a bit of a track star in high school. Wow. So that's the first time guys beat your race? Well, it's not the first time, but it's been a while. <laughs> oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> but I'm still here, so what's up? It can be a problem, though. You know, guys getting intimidated by a certain kind of woman? Well, I guess I'll need to up my game, then. Well, your game's just fine. So is yours. <laughs> If you'll excuse me, this restroom. Right. You'll be okay? Of course, sure. I'll get this one. Oh, no, please oh. let me. No way. To the victor goes the spoils. Fair. Okay, but I'm getting the next round. Okay. Hey. Saw you with Lisa. She is a hottie. I know for Sam, she used to be my girlfriend, but... She's a first-class tease. You should quit now. You're not going to get any. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, I said you're not going to get any, so you should just give it up. Look, I'm just trying to have a nice night out with a friend, OK? That's all. You should leave. Forget about her. She's my trouble, not yours. Well, I don't think she's anyone's. Are you going to push this issue with me? Because I'll kick your ass if you do. What's going on, man? You got a problem with me? Oh, I don't know, buddy. Do I? You know, I'm going to go. You should probably get some coffee. Maybe. Hey, don't walk away from me. <laughs> Hey, 
Is everything okay? Uh, you know what, I'll be right back. Excuse me. Um, there was an altercation outside of the restroom. I, I hit a guy and he went down pretty hard. I, I think he's knocked out. Um, here's my business card. I just, uh, I don't want any trouble. Hey, you know one who clocked Bobby? Uh, yeah, I was just explaining that to the bar manager. Are you a friend of his? Yep. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but he took a swing at me first. So he started it? Yeah, he was starting to talk trash about my date, Lisa. His ex, Lisa. You know about that? Uh-huh. Well, uh, he didn't like my reply, so he took a swing at me. I ducked and uh, well, hit him back. He went down pretty hard. Is, is he going to be okay? He's fine. He's had a bit too much to drink tonight. Well, are you a cop? Detective. Mind if I take this card? Please, by all means. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. What happened to your hands? Uh, Bobby took a swing at me outside of the restroom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, he missed. I didn't. I'm so sorry. He drinks so much, and then he does stupid things. Hi, are you with Bobby? Detective Liz Willis. Nice to meet you. Um, is Michael in trouble? No, but I think you two should call it a night while we stay here and sober Bobby up. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, thank you, Detective. Good night. You too. You know, there's something I just don't get about you. What's that? I mean, so far, you're pretty amazing. So how come you haven't had a relationship since... What's his name? A list of reasons. A list? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm not so amazing. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't just Bobby. No, I'm sorry I hit him tonight. Oh, don't be. I've wanted to hit him so many times. So what happened between you two? Well, he thought I wouldn't mind if he slept with other women every time he got drunk. Uh, and I'm going to say that he was wrong. Yes, very wrong. I'm sorry to hear that. Bobby's a good cop. He's not a good boyfriend. So, what about you? Any recent relationships? No, none recent. But I sure have had my share of failed relationships. Oh. So where'd you grow up? All over the place, actually. Really? Were your parents in the military? Uh, nothing cool like that. I, uh, I was adopted, so I got shuffled around a lot. It must have been hard. Yeah, well, it's in the past. So do you know your real parents? Barely. My dad was a drug addict, and my mom, well, uh, she was a loser. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Uh, I'm not them. Besides, I always say, if you live in the past, you'll be depressed. And then if you live in the future, you'll be anxious. Right, so we live in the present. It's a gift, and that's why they call it the present. Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> and may I say that this present is outstanding? Here, to you and to me. May all our time together be this amazing. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> You know, Lisa, I, I find you stunning. <sighs> You're moving kind of fast. I'm sorry. If, I mean, if you don't feel the same way, I, I... I didn't say that. Well, good. Because I really like you, and that hasn't happened for me in a long time. Me too. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like you, too. <laughs> kind of. Hey, Nina. Hey. Are you joining us tonight for a drink? Yes, I am. Looks like everyone's at happy hour already. Yeah, it's just you and me. It's kind of creepy around here when it's just us. Uh, yeah, I guess. But at least we have each other, right? Yeah, we do. I have to finish up some uh, work before I go. Yeah, me too. I'm just wrapping something up, and then I'm out of here. 
What are you working on? Uh, just my true crime stuff. I'm still looking into Lisa's father's hidden room. How's that going? I, I don't know. Uh, I've never actually solved a case before. So, I mean, all things considered, okay. Well, you'll solve one soon. I'm sure of it. Maybe. Uh, I'm still lacking a few big details. Mm -hmm. It's just difficult to get all the information when it's my hobby, you know? Sometimes I wish I was a cop so I could see all the big databases. You're funny, Nina. <laughs> it's after hours we have friends waiting for us at a bar and you're researching unsolved crimes. I know, I'm a crime nerd. Yeah, that you are, Nina. Well, I'm gonna wrap a few things and get going. Me too, I'm just waiting for a reporter to send me a file in the case and then I'll head out. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick look at this and then I'm out of here. Suspect and possible murder suicide. Michael Patterson? That's Lisa's guy. Admin Nina. Access, yes. Huh. Chicago man questioned in wife's death. That's so wonderful after all. I'll see you at the bar. Bye, Nina. Be safe. <laughs> uh, my specialty is search engine optimization. I'd be happy to take a look at it for you. How much would something like that cost? I would do it for free. It won't take very long. What? That would be incredible, Michael. Bethany does all of our IT, and SEO is not really her strength. Not a problem. I'll take a look at it. Uh, Lisa, uh, can I talk to you later? This is important. Okay. Sounds serious. Uh, hey. Oh. We have some beers for the guys. Thank you. Oh. Yes, the beer. And champagne. Thank you. Hey. Great. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm. This is a great song. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to dance with me. That's okay. Come on, it'll be fun. It's not really my thing. Nina's the dancer. Oh, okay. Well, Nina, you want to dance? Uh, sure. If it's okay, Lisa. Of course. Go. Lisa, is it okay? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's great. I'll say. Yeah. Wow, he is a good dancer. Oh, man. I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling a little insecure over here. <laughs> oh, come on, Ethan, you're awesome. Not like that guy. <laughs> oh, wow, he is a good dancer. He is. They look good together. Lisa, don't you think? Um, getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Ethan, come on, let's dance. You would never pass. Of course, let's go. Yes. Ah. Hey, forget her. Oh, it's not so Bethany. Wait, are you jealous of Nina? Oh, I hate feeling like this. Okay, look, when you really like someone, it's normal. Who says I really like him? Your face. Lights up like a Christmas tree every time you see him. Is that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to go back to being lonely. Oh, come on. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, just got a little headache. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. I think it's just too much wine. Did you want me to take you home? No, we're fine. 
Wow. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, your guy can really dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just a little late. I have something to say. <laughs> well, you know, what's going on? Um, hey, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Um, nothing. Lisa, are you all right? Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Sorry. It was... She... <clears throat> I'm down. This round's on me. Who wants one? Oh, I am good. Same here. Thanks. Fine. Is she gonna be okay? I hope so. You know what to do. Hello, where are you? You're like super late. Cocktail flu get you? Call me back. Hello, Miss Clark. Can you tell us what happened here? Um, I woke up with Nina's phone buzzing. I'd been out cold. And, um, my head was splitting, and, and then I felt this, this bump on my head. So you're telling us you have no idea how your murdered friend was lying next to you? messages for both of them. Strange. Wait, did you take either of them home last night? No, not me. I was feeling a little loopy, so I called an Uber. Yeah, I definitely got a little crazy last night. <laughs> I can't quite remember all of what happened. Same here. So strange. Hey, listen up. I need a moment. God, I can't believe this. What's wrong? Nina. What? She's dead. I just got off the phone with the police. They were attacked outside the bar. And Lisa's hurt, too. Wow, that is a nice-sized bump on your head. Still pretty out of it. Do the cops know what happened, or...? They just said that, uh, I was lucky to be alive, and that Nina was in a struggle before she was killed. Do they know who with? No. And I can't remember. Wait. You, you don't remember what you did last night? No. What do you mean? You were doing shots with Bethany, and then you got into a heated argument with Nina. I argued with Nina? Yeah, I mean, you were pretty worked up about it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have been dancing with Nina. I... Excuse me. I need to speak with Lisa for a moment. Uh, yeah, of course. I'll be right over here. Okay. You are the key witness in this case, and you are also our main suspect. Do you understand? No. I really don't. What? It sounds like you think I did this. I'm just being transparent with you, Lisa. Once we process the evidence, dust for fingerprints, and run toxicology and DNA, we'll get a clearer picture. Okay. Hey, Mom. 
There you are. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I'm starving. Well, that's a good sign. You feeling better? Physically, yeah. I was dreaming about Nina all night. Yeah, that's understandable. So, got eggs. And then there's fruit. Come on. Oh, thanks. I think I might go into work today. Yeah? So soon? I mean, you sure? Yeah. I just feel like it would be good to do something that feels normal. Like, sitting around the house all day watching TV isn't normal for me. All right. Well, I mean, I think that'll be okay. You know, get back into your routine. It's be good for you. Yeah. I'll get it. better if she knew the arresting office rather than have a stranger put the cuffs on you. Bobby, I'll take her from here. I'm gonna bring her by the precinct. Just don't worry, I'm okay. It's gonna be okay, Mom. Let's go. Bobby, what happened? What changed? Lisa's fingerprints were on the murder weapon that we found at the crime scene. What? I'm sorry, Barbara. Are these really necessary? I don't know, are they? No. Miss Clark, let's just talk for a bit. Do I need a lawyer? You tell me. I'm innocent. If you're innocent, how did your fingerprints end up on the knife? <laughs> Look, I know it looks bad. Yes, it does look bad. And then you're telling us you have no recollection of what happened. Ms. Clark, you need to tell us what happened or you are going to jail. I'm trying to remember. The DA will consider this an open and shut case. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, I understand what it looks like, but I didn't kill anybody. Ms. Clark, we hear that every day. That's not a defense when your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. God, what am I gonna do? Miss Clark, maybe you weren't in the right mind. You know, people with drinking problems do all sorts of crazy things. I don't have care. a drinking problem. I'm a social drinker, that's it. A social drinker who blacks out. I don't know if I blacked out. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Well, then maybe I can refresh your memory for you. You killed Nina with a knife to the chest after a heated argument at the bar in which everyone was witness to, and then you were so drunk, he passed out next to the body. And here, we confiscated the butcher block with the missing knife from your kitchen. Murder weapon is a perfect match with that missing knife. Miss Clark, we have to save yourself. No, no, no. I didn't kill Nina. I didn't do it. Okay? She was my friend. Nina was my friend. Most murders are committed by someone who knows the victim. Well, that's not the case. I didn't kill Nina, so stop pushing me to say that I did. I may not remember what happened that night, okay? But I know who I am, and I know what I could and couldn't do. Show us your arm. Why? The medical report said you have scratches on your arm. We'd like to see those scratches. <sighs> I don't see how that's Show showing. us. Pull up your sleeve. Let's see it. It's not what it looks like, right? Hey, what do you say we just take this nice and easy, okay, Lisa? Just tell us the truth about what happened the night Nina died. Unburden yourself, and we will tell the DA that you cooperated with us and things will go smoother for you. today. It just feels good to be outside. I'm glad you're finally home. Yeah, took a while. Thanks again for the help with the courts and the bail. And that fancy new ankle bracelet I got to buy you. Uh, 
So what's the deal with that thing? Are you allowed to go anywhere? Uh, I have a small radius I'm confined to. My house, mom's, work. My place? Yes. And a running trail. Well, that's not terrible. Besides, it is a very good look on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prison chic. Uh, so I talked to Ray the other day. He's having a pretty tough time. Ray? Nina's husband. You met him. Right. I feel so awful. I hope he doesn't blame me for any of this. No, I don't think he does. It's just all so confusing. Nobody seems to know anything. Maybe you should go see him. Yeah, I think I will. Well, I have some groceries to unpack, so... What can I do? No, no, you sit and relax. I will help out. Hey, can I get you another drink? Oh, yeah. Oh, but give me something different. The champagne tasted funny. Sure. Hi, Lisa. Bethany. What are you doing here? How did you get in the backyard? Oh, I knocked at the front door, but no one answered. I saw your car, so I came around back. Okay. I was so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine, yeah. I just, I'm having a hard time remembering what happened. Well, get some rest. I'm around if you need anything. I'm sure you'll remember. You know, it's hard that, um, the police think that I killed Nina. They say it's an open and shut case. Hey, baby, you need anything? Oh. I didn't realize you had a company. Um, Bethany from work. She just stopped by. Oh, right. You look so familiar. Have we met before? At my party, Mom. Remember? Yeah, I, re I remember that, but it's... I, I, no, I, I know that I know you from somewhere. Are you sure that we didn't meet somewhere else before? Uh, no, no, not that I recall. I, I, but, I mean, you never know, right? <laughs> it's killing me. I, I, I'm gonna remember. Mm -hmm. I am. I never forget a face. Uh, Lisa, I, I should run along now. I have a couple errands before it gets late. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by. Okay, yeah, see you at work. Bye, Barbara. Hi, Bethany. So help us get this straight. You've only known Lisa for a week or so. Uh, correct. Yeah, we uh, met sort of through an online dating. How many dates did you have? Um, just the one dinner at her house and then the uh, bar that evening. Uh, unless running counts as a date. So you really don't know Miss Clark well enough to say she didn't commit this crime? Uh, I guess you're right. But I still think there's no way that she could have done this. That's your expert opinion? It's just my opinion. You got into an altercation the previous night at the bar. Yes. Every time you're in that bar, something bad seems to happen. What are you saying? Officer Bobby Lake has bruising on his ribs and stomach area. You said you knocked him out with one punch. I did. Maybe he fell on his ribs. Huh. You lived in Chicago before you came here. Yes. And it says you're married. Widow. Her, her name is Michelle. She committed suicide two years ago. She struggled with depression for years. Okay, I came home from work one day and the police were there. It was awful. I'm sure it was. Where are you going with this, Detective? Do you have any evidence stating that I've done something wrong? Only circumstantial. You see, in the two nights you've been in that bar, you've been involved in an assault and a murder. All right, I was not involved in a murder, and Bobby took a swing at me. It was self-defense. Yeah, I, I'm done talking to you. If you have anything else to say, you can call my lawyer. Yeah, so if you could grab that for me, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Lisa, we are so glad you're back. It feels really good to be here. I'm just grateful that you got out so quick. God, I feel awful that I ended up leaving early that night. Well, don't. <laughs> Who could have known? It's horrible that they suspect you. I mean, your fingerprints on the knife? You think somebody's trying to frame you? I think I was drugged. Like a roofie? 
Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, just, I can't remember anything. Maybe try backtracking your steps. Yeah, I'm doing that. Anyway, um, I still need that cost breakdown and analysis on the Kilimanjaro trip. Yeah, I'll get that out right away. Also, you and Nina shared some accounts, right? Could you take those over? Yeah, sure. I, uh, I'd be happy to. Thank you. Thank you. Bethany will help you get logged into our computer. Thanks. Use the admin override and voila, you're signed in now. What you doing here? Well, I'm just taking over some of the accounts. Oh, okay, well, um, let me know if I can pick up any of the workload. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I think you probably have enough to do with the IT stuff and it shouldn't be tough. Okay. some of the accounts and files from Nina's computer. Did you know about her crime story fascination? <laughs> a little bit. Why? She has a huge amount of material dedicated to it. Here's one she highlighted. Teen's ID withheld and murder charges in death of mother's boyfriend. Ah, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a little disturbing. Yeah. Hmm. Get it run. Oh my god. It's your dad's hit and run article. I've never seen this one before. I'm gonna print these. I am so sorry, Lisa. I have to get back. But please let me know what you find if I can help you with anything. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Abby. Aren't you sweet? Oh, well, welcome back. Wow, it smells great in here. It's uh, chicken barbea. Oh. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check into a hotel tonight. Oh, a hotel? What happened to your place? Oh, it's been so crazy, I have no chance to tell you. I sold my house. You know, but the buyers would accelerate the move-in process, so we're fumigating this week, and they'll take possession next week. Oh, that's abrupt. I didn't even know it was on the market. Yeah, I had mentioned it. Anyway, I'm looking for a rental over the next couple days, but until then, it's hotel living for me. Hmm. So, let me see if I understand what's going on. You're homeless? Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Well, I have a guest room. Oh, no. Hey, come here. I wouldn't expect that out of you. Hey, are you okay? Sorry, it's been a hard time. Try not to panic about this investigation. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult. To say the least. <laughs> and you and I, I think we might be taking things too fast. You're right. Which is why I'm gonna stay in the hotel tonight. I know you have a lot going on. I'm just gonna put these in your face. <laughs> wow, I love the candles. So, what's cooking? <laughs> Sorry, that's just what my dad used to ask my mom all the time. What's cooking? <laughs> anyway, I already told you. Oh, yeah, right. Chicken. No, not just chicken. Chicken Marbella. <laughs> oh, my God. We sound like an old married couple. <laughs> We're not old. Funny. Pump the brakes, mister. We're not married either. It's not what I meant, but, uh, okay. Hey, um... You said your dad's been gone over a year now. What happened? I don't really want to talk about that right now. Hey. Ow! Hey, Nina, where are you going? Hey, Lisa. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta work with you. Right? Okay, see ya. Whoa. Oh, hey. Ow! Are you okay? 
I'm, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Are you okay? Did you scratch me? Did you... What? Did you do this? No, oh, I didn't do that. No, outside the shanty. I stumbled, and, and you caught me, and but you scratched me. Yeah, but not really. I mean, not like how your arm is now. You, you didn't tell me about it. Well, I didn't think it was relevant to what was going on. I just got arrested for murder for having these huge scratches on my arms. You don't think that's relevant? Okay, please just calm down. I'm not about to calm down! Don't you understand I could go to jail for the rest of my life for this? Okay. Calm down? Hold on, Lisa. I, I'm sorry. Is there anything else you want to tell me about that night? No, and for the last time, I, I didn't gouge your arm like that. How did you know to come by the crime scene the next morning? I called the office. What the hell? You don't think I had something to do with Nina and what happened? I don't know what to think. I really don't. Okay, maybe you need to take a step back before you say something you're about to regret. Bobby called me today and he told me that he thought you kicked him in the ribs after you knocked him out. Yeah, well, that doesn't make me a killer, okay? I, I, I just got set off. Are you married? What? No, you don't even know the hat. No, not anymore. And you didn't tell me about that. Do you get how shady all of this is? Listen, look. You don't even know me, okay? You need to give me a chance. No, clearly, I don't. Clearly. I think you need to leave. No, fine. Fine, Lisa. Forget this. You, you know what? You're clueless anyway. Okay, getting half truths from some crazy ex-boyfriend who's got a drinking problem who's dating one of your friends. I mean, like, you have no issues. Who the hell? Yeah, nice. You know what? Don't forget I don't know you either. Okay? And you're the one wearing an ankle monitor bracelet for murder. Get out! It's just killing me that I can't remember everything. I'm aware of all this, Lisa. I know. It's just really important to me that you know that I had nothing to do with your wife's murder. I don't think that for a second. Nina loved you, and she was a good judge of character. Thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. Hey, um, I found these files on Nina's computer. It's my dad's hit-and-run case. Do you know anything about it? Of course. I mean, she was passionate about it. The whole thing broke her heart. I was just hoping that the discovery could bring you some closure. What do you mean? Nina was so excited she had never actually solved the case before. These files don't mention that. I figured she told you. Isn't that why you called me? No, she never told me that she solved the case. But she called me on the way to the shanty that night to share the news with me. Oh, my God. Did it ever occur to you that this could have been why she was killed? No. She never told anybody what she was doing. She barely even talked about it with me. I figured she told you because it was your father's case. Ray, does this mean you know who killed my father? All she told me was that she had figured it out. It was brief. She didn't tell me who did it or why. And that was the last time I ever talked to Nina. Hey. Thanks for meeting. Yeah, of course, Lise. I'm really sorry about Michael. Told you you can't trust anyone you meet on the internet. Yeah, it's really disturbing. Like, if he's lying about that, then what else is he lying about? You never know. I mean, you just met him. So you think going back to the place where Nina was killed will help jog your memory? I don't know, but I have to try. This is it. Right here? You and Nina? This is where it happened? Yep. Anything coming back to you? Yeah, a little. It is so creepy knowing that Nina died here. Crap. What? Lisa! 
I know you're there. I've been tracking you on my phone. Who's with you? It's just me and Abby, sorry. What are you two doing out here? I'm trying to remember what happened. Luck? Well, there's one thing for sure. I was definitely drugged because I've never felt like this before from drinking. Well, you're right. Toxicology came back this afternoon. You were drugged. It was a sedative with hallucinogenic properties. So that proves I'm innocent. Not exactly, but there is one other thing I'd like to check on. Show me your hands again. Clearly, you haven't had a manicure in a while. Not in a while. A long while. Well, your nails, or lack thereof, might be the best evidence you have going for you right now. How's that? An acrylic nail was found embedded in Nina's arm. Hey, Liz, everything all right? Yeah, I'm just dealing with Lisa and Abby. I found them wandering around out here. Look, I have to run, and you do too. You're outside your restricted area. Violate it again, you will regret it. What are you guys doing out here? Looking for clues, trying to jog my memory. Just so you know, those fingerprint matches? I mean, it's the strangest thing, but I never believed any of them. Thanks, Bobby. Did you break up with your boyfriend? Yeah, you wish. You said he was married. He said I didn't have the whole story, so what didn't you tell me? His wife is dead. How's that? How'd she die? Suicide? You know, I think he's the one that did this. What? Why would he kill Nina? He wants Lisa to live in fear. It's easier to control you that way. I doubt it. What about your girlfriend? What do you know about her? What's that supposed to mean? Well, she was here the night of the murder. Did you run a background check on her? Did I? know? How well do you know Bethany anyway? She moved here from Pennsylvania like a year ago, right? But with no family here, isn't that kind of mysterious? Are you jealous? Abby is right. You should know who your girlfriend is. Girlfriend? Wow. Nice. Bobby? What are you doing out here? Nothing. Coming. Yeah, all right. I'll check her out. Oh, I hate that guy. Hey, it's Lisa. You know what to do. Hey, Lisa. It's, uh, it's Michael. Um, listen, I wanted to say sorry for the things that I said last night. I, I said a lot of things that I didn't mean, and, well, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I was hoping maybe we could grab some tea, and, uh, well, I could apologize in person, uh, if you'd forgive me. Anyways, uh, thanks. I'm sorry to call you so late. No problem. I'm leaving a business dinner, working on that expansion. You're a driven man. <laughs> uh, hey, I have a big favor to ask you. Shoot. I need to swing by the office, and it can't wait till after the weekend. You got the keys? Go ahead. The thing is, I need to get something off of Nina's computer, and I don't have the password. Uh, it's at the office somewhere. I'll tell you what. It's on my way home. I'll just meet you there. Right now? Are you sure? It's important, right? It could be very important, yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. I adore you. Thank you. Lisa, is that you? Anybody there?
okay? Mm, my head. What happened? I don't know. I, I heard a noise. I was looking around, and then, damn, somebody hit me with something. It's like a fire extinguisher here. Come on. <sighs> Let me get you up in your chair. Oh, God. Give me some ice. Listen, I feel awful. Okay, come on. We gotta get you to an urgent care. Okay, um... I think I dropped my keys by the fire extinguisher. Do you mind oh. grabbing this for me? Yeah. Thank you. Uh. Hey, Bobby. Yeah, I gave a report when I was at urgent care. And I gave the officer Michael's gym ID. It was right next to the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Slight concussion, but he'll be okay. Anyway, it's been a long day. Check in with you more. the death of local man. It's gotta be Lisa's dad. Oh, God, this again? Cover files. Yes. Convicted murderer gets early release for good behavior. Sentence cut in half. Marie Dixon. That's Bethany. from the urgent care facility because it was outside of the restricted yeah. zone. That GPS on that ankle bracelet saved her life. That is so frightening. Yeah. I still can't believe what a crazy person he turned out to be. Morning. Hey, Ab. Well, good morning. Even though it's almost five o'clock. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got some rest, babe. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I saw a squad car out front. Oh, yeah. We have police watching us 24-7. They're gonna get him, Lise. He still doesn't know that you found his ID card. <laughs> Lisa! Freeze, Patterson. Unless you'd like to try your luck with me again, I'm in a better mind to kick your ass this time. I can't stop wondering why Michael would kill Nina. And does it have anything to do with Dad's hit and run? Give it some time, Lise. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Barbara. Hi. Yeah, you okay? Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Ah, uh, yeah. The doctor says I'm fine. I just sore everywhere. Hi, Abby. Hi. You okay? That looks really painful. <laughs> the question is, how are you feeling? The police had me give a second report. I had no idea where he went after I left. It freaked me out. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can I come in? Hey, Bobby, come on. How are you feeling today? I'm still here. Any news? We got Michael Batterson. I busted him at your front door. He was trying to see you, I guess. Okay, that's creepy. But that's good. Yeah. There is one other thing. Well, what's that? Well, I don't know if it's related, but it's not good. What? I did some digging. It's Bethany. She ain't Bethany. She changed her name. <laughs> Turns out she was locked up on a murder charge for 25 years. Got out early for good behavior. What? Wait a second. What was her real name? Marie Dixon. Oh, my God. Oh, 
thought she was still in jail. And you know her? Yeah. Marie Dixon is my husband's daughter from his first marriage. What? Daddy's ex-wife was a drug addict. And she left him for another man, and she took their baby daughter, Marie, and moved away. Well, you never told me all that. I wanted to. I tried. I was going to tell you, and then Marie went away to prison for a long time, and it just didn't seem like there was any point in telling you she was gone, and she wasn't coming back. But she did come back. Clearly. I never met her. I saw childhood pictures of her. I knew I recognized her. God, I told you, I never forget a face. Yeah, you did. You're so sad. She grew up in such a toxic environment, and... She was always in trouble. She always blamed your father for everything. And then one night, her mother overdosed because of the boyfriend. And they say that Marie, Bethany, she just lost it. She killed him. Oh, my God. No way. How old was she? She had just turned 17. And clearly, it was premeditated. They tried her as an adult, and she went to a maximum security prison. She gets out, changes her name, and moves here to do what? Wait a second. When did she get out? About a year ago. That's when Dad was killed. Sign here, and you are free to go. Why would she kill her father? Because she blamed her father for everything bad that ever happened in her life. This is all speculation. Well, Ray said that Nina had figured out who did the hit and run. And then she got killed for it. But where's the evidence that she did any of this? He may have died with Nina. Bye, Bethany. I'll see you at the bar. Be safe. Could Bethany have been the one who stabbed you last night? Maybe. Maybe it wasn't Michael. I texted Bethany before I got here, and I didn't mention any of this. I'm going to go get her and bring her in for questioning about all this. Great. Thanks, Bobby. Need some money? <laughs> no, I can afford the groceries, Ma. <laughs> we'll get dinner started while you're gone. Right, hurry back. Okay, see you in a bit. Let's go, kid. Let's go. So she's been secretly living among us for a year. <sighs> I can't believe it. I need a drink. You want some wine? Yes, please. Are you more of a red girl or a white girl? Do you have any sparkling? I might. Let me see what I have in here. I usually keep something. Found a peanut. Hi, <gasps> Barbara. What do you want from us? I want everyone to pay for what they did to me. You murdered my husband, your own father. You lured him away from me, from my family. That is not the way that it happened, Marie, and you know it. He had it coming to him. Oh, your mother was a drug addict, and she fell in love with another man. Stop lying! There, they'll shut you up. There. Yes, I told you that. You remember I told you that? Uh, you heard me. Okay, but how could I forget? <laughs> Mom! What do you think? Stop! Get over there. Oh, Isis. I'm not your sister. You killed Nina? I liked Nina. But she was too smart for her own good. Right. She found out who killed my father. Our father! Let's not forget about me. So it was you who killed him. <laughs> Hugging the same route home every night to his new family. He deserved it. He did not deserve it. He tried to help your loser mother. That never happened. 
He didn't do anything for us. He paid and paid, but your mother was nothing but a taker. Shut up! How did you find out Nina solved a crime? I'm IT, Ethan. You've been such an asset. Please untie them. Let them go. You're not in your right mind. You're not stable. I spent 15 years in prison. You wonder why I'm not stable. Sorry. I'm, I'm truly sorry. You got all the breaks. Look at all this. You're right. I have a wonderful mother. And I had a loving and supportive father. That is until you killed him. Nothing that happened to you gives you the right to do that. Nothing. Little sister is learning. Life isn't fair. And sometimes, the people you love die. So what's the plan, Bethany? There's no way out of this. We already reported you to the police. They're gonna find out that you killed Nina. We have nothing. I wiped Nina's heart drop. We have no evidence against me, but there is a lot of evidence against you. Okay, so you kill everyone here and then what? I'm not killing anyone. You are. Really? When they find you alive and more people around you dead? And your fingerprints on the murder weapon. Again? If Nina's murder wasn't enough to put you on death row, a triple murder will. You're a sick and delusional person. Who's that? It's probably the detective. She said she would stop by. Go in there. Get rid of whoever that is. Otherwise, I shoot Ethan. And then head over for your mom and pew back. Hold on, I'll be right there. Lisa. Hi, detective. I was just interrogating Michael Patterson, and I wanted to drop by and ask you a few questions. Oh, um, now it really isn't a good time. Could you come by later? I'm sorry, I just need to check on that. What is it? Well, funny thing, I just got a notice that a 911 call was placed from this location. Is everyone here okay? Yeah, I'm all right. It says the call was made by Abby. Is she here too? Abby is um, in the bathroom. And she's okay? No emergency or anything? No, she was okay when she went in. I'm gonna need to have a conversation with Abby. Once the call is made, I'm obligated. So do you mind if I come in and wait for her to get out of the bathroom? Oh, um... Yeah, oh, okay, that's okay. So where's the bathroom Abby's in? Um, the bathroom's right there. You in there? Are you okay? Okay, back up. Okay, I'm backing. Stay calm. I am calm. Can I suggest a few options on how you can handle this? You don't have an option that doesn't involve sending me back to prison, right? You've committed murder, Bethany. Yeah, I'm not going back. Now, I want everyone to get on their knees. Take your hand off the gun. I can't do that. It might be the only thing that keeps you from murdering innocent people. Just please stop this now. You think I'm afraid to pull the trigger? I've done it before. Doesn't have to end this way, Bethany. Take your hand off the gun! I cannot let you kill all these people. <laughs> Bobby, always the hero. But one thing, you go first. No! Put some pressure on it. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you. Are you all right? I am. You were able to call the police? Yeah, it worked. You saved us all. Everybody all right? Evan is dead. It's finished. Can you get my hands? Yeah, let me get this. Oh, oh thank God. I cannot believe that in five short years, we are where we are today. I love all of you so much. 
Thank you for being a part of this company. Here's to the expansion and the growth of our company to you guys. Cheers, everybody. Seriously. Hey, Michael. What are you doing here? Hey, Barbara. Uh, I just came to bring this on file. Oh, sounds so official. Do you don't want to stay for the fun? No, I should probably get out of here after. Hi. Hey. Uh, is my mom taking up all your time? Uh, yes, I am. Absolutely. It is crazy. <laughs> Handsome guys just come and talk to me wherever I go. <laughs> I think I still got it. Okay. Mom, you can go now. Oh, that's settled. <laughs> I'm going. Bye, Barbara. Nice to see you. you uh, hey, listen, I brought your father's files from Nina's computer. Uh, there's a lot of information on it, so I put it on a thumb drive. Thanks. So does this mean you're done helping Ethan with the computers? Uh, you know, he wanted me to stay and consult for you guys, but uh, I told him I'd think about it. I didn't want to be intrusive after all it got kind of weird between us. I've been meaning to talk to you about everything that happened. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Yes. <laughs> crazy is right. I'm so sorry. No, you shouldn't be. I mean, you didn't know what was going to happen. But I got you arrested. <laughs> yeah, that was a new experience for me. <laughs> you know, but don't forget, I did knock out your boyfriend on our first date. Ex-boyfriend. Right. <laughs> so you're okay? Yeah, I will be. Eventually. I should, uh, I should go. Wait, go? <laughs> what, are you having a, an appointment or something? No, I just thought that with everything that happened between us that, uh, well... Wait a second. Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> what if I want you to stay? You know, I'm never going to be able to live that one down, am I? <laughs> Not with me around. <laughs> and as they say in sales, but wait, there's more. Not only is our consultant, Barbara Clark, helping to design our new office, Abby Bingham is now officially promoted to manager. Woo! <laughs> That's my girl. Oh. Ethan, I can't thank you enough for bringing me into all of this. It is exactly what I needed. It's my pleasure, Barbara. I think having a new direction has been good for all of us. A toast to new directions. Oops. So looking forward and never forgetting the past, here's to Nina. To Nina. To Nina. And to Dad. We'll remember you forever, but just know that we found some peace. I love you, baby. <laughs> love you, Mom. Love you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs>